In this video, I'm going to walk you through the resources I use to learn Active Directory. I've been meaning to put out this video for a while now. It's been on my to-do list. And now that the Offensive Security has put Active Directory on the OSCP exam starting January next year, I think now is a perfect opportunity to get in there and learn Active Directory. And good timing for me to put out this video as well. Here is my learning resources I use to get started with Active Directory. The best thing for you to do to learn Active Directory is actually build your own Active Directory lab on your own machine on VirtualBox, for example. This is the best way to learn because you get to play around with it a bit more, experiment with the various different types of attacks and also look on the Active Directory side and configure it live as you try to attack it. I would recommend start by watching the Cyber Mentors video on how to build an Active Directory lab. It's a 45 minute video. He goes through step by step how you can set up an Active Directory VM on your own machine and it's pretty easy to follow through. Once you've successfully set up your Active Directory VM, I would recommend next reading this blog post by Adam Tusha, Top 5 Ways I Got Domain Admin on Your Internal Network Before Lunch. It's a pretty nice blog just to give you a really top-down overview of the type of attacks that you can do in Active Directory. After you're done with that blog post, I would recommend going back to the Cyber Mentor and watching his series on Zero to Hero, especially episode 8, 9, and 10. Those episodes focus on Active Directory. So if you scroll down to here where it says episode 8, 9, and 10, so it starts off by building an Active Directory lab. I think this might even be the same video that I mentioned previously. And then it goes through LLMNR poisoning, cracking, relaying credentials, token impersonation, pass the hash, PS exec, eternal blue, GPP passwords, curb roasting. Pretty much the whole methodology is covered in these three videos here. You can see they're pretty comprehensive, like two hour long videos. He goes through each of these attacks step by step and it's actually really amazing how this is available on YouTube for free. So once you've gone through all that, I would recommend playing around in your own Active Directory lab and actually try and make all of those attacks work so you can really internalize the methodology. And as you make it work, add the cheat sheet commands that you used to your own notes. So the next time you do it, you can just pretty much pull it out of your cheat sheet straight away. If you want to go a bit further, there is a really nice website by Sean Metcalf on adsecurity.org. That is more advanced, it's probably even out of scope for the OACP. So once you've gone through the resources above, you can check out that blog to read more information, test out more attacks in your own Active Directory hacking lab, and slowly you sort of build up your knowledge from there. I'll just take the opportunity to tell a little story here about my own experiences when learning Active Directory. So on my first Active Directory gig I did back in January this year, I only had about six months of try hack me under my belt at that time. And at the previous company where I was working, an internal penetration test job came through and I pretty much had one week notice. And I didn't have any Active Directory knowledge previous to that apart from the one try hack me room I did. So I pretty much went through this list, a binged watch the Cyber Mentor Zero to Hero series within a week, tested out all the attacks in my own Active Directory lab, and then I ended up going on that job, doing all the attacks, and was able to perform a pretty good result on that gig. So the resources here legitimately works in real life environments and honestly i was pretty surprised how well they did work most companies actually need a lot of help on their internal network so i guess this is one of the reasons why ransomware is running so rampant now at the moment for the free learning resources that are available online like i mentioned previously you don't have a lot unfortunately 
you've got one try hack me room called attractive directory i actually made a video on this room on my channel last year it's a pretty bad video actually so don't go and watch it uh, you can watch it if you want but it probably doesn't have too much educational value it goes through the most common Active Directory attacks, but if you have set up your own Active Directory hacking lab, you probably would have gone through most of these already. So this is more if you want to test some of the tools without having to set up your own Active Directory lab. Another one on Try Hack Me is the Network Lab Reef. You can actually do this lab if you have a seven day hacking streak on Try Hack Me for free. So Check that out if you are on Try Hack Me. You don't have a lot of resources for free on AD online, unfortunately. So these were the only two I was able to find. If you know any more free labs for Active Directory, drop it in the comments below. Now for the paid options, you do get a lot. So on Try Hack Me, you've got other network labs you can access. Holo, you can access with a $10 a month subscription. And then the throwback labs you can access for $60 a month. Hack the Box Academy also has some material on Active Directory. You're probably looking at closer to $68 a month for Hack the Box Academy. I haven't actually gone through these modules on Hack the Box, so I'm not sure how good they are, but they are made by pretty good authors, so I would assume they're quite good quality. Next, you've got CyberSec Labs. I've mentioned this already in the previous video. It's probably the cheapest option for Active Directory lab material. They've got eight machines in there, and if you're familiar with Active Directory, you probably would get a hint of what you have to do when looking at the names of those machines. Don't let this fool you though, because some of the machines on CyberSec Labs are actually pretty advanced, even including some material such as antivirus evasion, which is actually taught in the higher level offensive security cert OSEP. And then you've got Hack the Box. They have nine Active Directory machines in there, all with walkthroughs. You can check out IPSEC and follow along with his videos. Also, it's the same applies to these boxes on Hack the Box. Some of them are definitely out of scope for the OSCP. It's pretty advanced, some of the stuff that you have to do to actually get root on these machines. And I haven't finished probably half on this list myself. And then finally, you've got Hack the Box Pro Labs. Do these if you want to further your knowledge in Active Directory. Probably Dante is the most closest to OSCP. Some of the other ones will be more advanced than OSCP, especially like APT labs where it's crazy difficult and I would actually like to go in there and do it myself one of these days. So that's my whole list here of all the labs I could find in Active Directory. And considering probably half of these resources listed on here is out of scope for the OACP, definitely I recommend starting off by watching the Cyber Mentors videos and building up your own lab and going from there. Active Directory is actually a pretty interesting topic and doing Active Directory penetration tests is probably the most fun penetration test that you can do. So definitely worth learning it. And I think long term for the OACP, it is beneficial to have that in the exam. It's just that for the short term, um, you have to do a lot of catching up. So I hope this list helps you guys. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about Active Directory. I wouldn't really consider myself an expert in Active Directory. I am going through a certification called Certified Red Team Operator at the moment. So I am still learning myself. I'll be making some videos about that certification and a review very soon. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.